Welcome to our flipped classroom video. Today, we're going to create a bar graph. I asked my class what kind of fruit they like best. They got to vote between cherries, bananas, and apples. Here's the results of our graph. The first thing I'm going to do is sort the fruit and count how many I have of each. I'll start with the cherries. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cherries. Eight students voted that cherries were their favorite. When I create a bar graph, I do one box for each vote. Since eight students picked cherries, I'll color in eight boxes on my bar graph. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'll count bananas. I have one, two, three, four. Four students voted for bananas. When I color my bar graph, since four students voted for bananas, I'll color in four boxes. One, two, three, four. Apples are last. We'll count the apples the same way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six students voted for apples, so I will color in six boxes on my bar graph. One, two, three, four, five, six. When we look at a bar graph, we're trying to learn information. When you look at this bar graph, can you figure out what fruit did my classroom like best? What fruit did my classroom like least? Let's answer some questions about this bar graph on the next slide. Here's the bar graph again. It's set up the same way. You can see eight students picked cherries, four picked bananas, and six picked apples. Let's decide which fruit has the most. I can tell that cherries has the most votes because the bar goes all the way to the top and it's higher than the other fruits. So I know that cherries has the most. Which fruit has the least amount of votes? When I look at my bar graph, I can see that bananas has the least amount of votes. Only four friends picked bananas. On the bar graph, the bar is the lowest for bananas. So I know that bananas has the least number of votes. Now I'm going to compare my groups. My question is, how many more cherries than bananas are there? When I see those words, how many more, I know I need to compare the groups. I need to compare the cherries and the bananas. So I'll look at my two groups. When I compare them, I'm going to see what's different about the two groups. I'm going to start off by matching my groups together. I can see that cherries and bananas both got one vote. Cherries and bananas both got two votes. They both got three votes. They both got four votes. This part here is the difference between the two groups. I'm going to write a subtraction sentence to show how many more people picked cherries 
than bananas. To do that, I'm going to start with the group that had the most. That was my cherries. I know that eight students picked cherries. I'm going to subtract the group that is equal. They each had four votes. One, two, three, four. I'm going to subtract four. Equals. Now I'm going to see what the difference is between the two groups. Eight minus four equals one, two, three, four. 8 minus 4 equals 4. For my next problem, how many fewer apples than cherries are there? Let's erase our graph and look at it the same way. This time I'm comparing apples to cherries. I'm going to start the same way. I'm going to look and see how they are the same. Cherry and apples both got one vote. They both got two votes. They both got three votes. They both got four votes. They both got five votes. They both got six votes. Now the question is, how many fewer apples do we have than cherries? That means, how many more apples do I need to be equal with the cherries? Well, I can see that if the apples had one, two more votes, they would be equal. That means that there's two fewer apples than cherries. When I write it in a subtraction sentence, I start the same way as I do before. I start with the bigger group. Cherries is bigger than apples. Cherries has eight. I'm going to subtract the part that's the same or equal. They both have six. Equals the difference. There are two fewer apples than cherries. Thank you for watching our flipped classroom video and we'll learn more about this tomorrow.